greetings and salutations, my friends, human family. Today is September 27th, 2012. Most of us are aware of the state of things on our planet here. The economy's in trouble. More frequent natural disasters, human-made disasters, mass animal die-offs, corrupt governments taking away more rights and freedoms. And it's not a very nice place out there. And there's some of us here on YouTube who report these things, and, and in our minds we're trying to make people aware of what's happening in the world. Because so many, so many know nothing other than go to their job and watch TV. And that's about it. But uh, a lot of times, what happens is people who first become aware become afraid. They don't know what to do. Um, there's pretty much nothing we can do. For some of the things, just acknowledge that they're happening, but don't, don't, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Fear and worry. Um, they're useless. They, they're a waste of time. They, they won't help. But with this fear, there's, there's more negativity being created, and this negativity is surrounding us more and more every day. A lot of you say, what can I do? I'm just one person. Well, I'm asking you today to, to try this exercise for me. You, you've got to have an imagination, which we all have. Don't, don't say you don't. Um, somebody once said, whether you believe you're a success or you believe you're a failure, you're right. See, it's what we believe that we make happen. And believing, that's just imagination. It's just our imagination. So, we're going to use our imagination and believe in things. What's it going to hurt to believe in positive things? So, I'd like, I'd like for you to try this exercise. Some of you may have uh, done the uh, exercise where you breathe in the good and exhale the bad. Well, uh, I'm asking you to do the exact opposite. Uh, yeah, it sounds strange, but, but listen. You, you see in your mind, you just, it's not hard to see the suffering out there, the, the hatred, the anger, the killings, all these negative things, and you take a deep breath of them and feel them. Some of you who are empaths may cry, and that's okay. Crying does release toxins from the body. But as soon as you breathe in these, these negative things, embrace them immediately with your heart love them and transform them into, into thoughts of love and joy, kindness, willingness to help each other, and then blow it back out into the world. And do this again and repeat, breathe in the negativity in your mind. Embrace it immediately with your heart and love and transform it into love and blow it back out into the world. I'd like for those who are experienced with this type of visualization to do this at least 30 minutes a day. Others try it, start at least 5 minutes a day. I know a lot of us have attention deficit these days with all the input we receive constantly, it's, it's hard to focus on any one thing, but 
but try to focus on this. And when those thoughts come in, those negative thoughts of, oh, this is a waste of time, this is silly, acknowledge that you have those thoughts, they're real, but push them aside with, with your love, with your willingness to help you. You want to do something to help. This is something. Thoughts do make what happens real. Your thoughts do become real. So, try this, please. And, and I'm asking you, if you can't do it right away, keep trying. Don't give up. Once you practice and, and you can do this, you can do this while you're waiting for a bus. You can do this pretty much any time. Um, five minutes at a time. You know, a couple times a day. Breathe in. Get rid of the negative. Replace it with positive. Believe. Believe in your mind, in your heart. That you are making a difference. And smile more. And say hello to strangers. And wish people a good day. Thanks a lot. I'll try to put some interesting links below on the power of thought. And, uh, sending you love and peace. Thanks for watching.